Hi guys, uh, Hannah back here. I hope you guys are enjoying the party so far and are learning some new recipes and um, ways to use their Pamper Chef items in your kitchen. Um, I hope your list is starting to come along and I'd like to go over a few of our other newer products um, just so you get a sense of the catalog that you're looking at today and some of those newer um, items that we offer. Okay, So first thing um, we're going to look at the stainless steel non-stick cookware. Okay, so we're going to open up our Pampered Chef catalog. Okay, and we're turning to page four and five. Okay, and so everything on these two pages is is part of our new spring line. And um, I want to talk about the non-stick stainless steel pans. This is probably the only non-stick stainless steel out there on the market. Um, it's kind of one of a kind. Um, and the way this works is that there's an embedded mesh nonstick um, coating. And so it will act like stainless steel in how it cooks, but you're going to get um, that nice, easy cleanup afterwards. You can use metal utensils on this. Um, it's dishwasher safe as well. And um, it's just a really, really nice product. The other items on this page are our non-stick cookware collection, and these are a new item as well. They've been updated this year, um, and so also can use metal utensils, dishwasher safe, easy cleanup. Um, the nice thing about these is that they have the removable handle on them. Okay, so you'll see the little the little button on the handle, and that's how you remove the handle. So if you want to put something in the oven, you can take the handle off. And then to, to go back in, you don't need an oven mitt because your handle's not hot. You just click the handle back on and take it out. Great for very um, easy storage. As you can see on the next page, in the dishwasher, in the cupboard, um, very easily stackable um, for, for smaller kitchens. And as a bonus, the non-stick cookware, any of it, is all lifetime guarantee. So really awesome uh, uh, guarantee on it. Now, on page 10 and 11, we're looking at our rock crock collection, okay? So I have a rock crock here, okay? So this is the rock crock. This is the everyday pan, okay? So this is item C on page 10 and 11. And so it comes with the, the rock crock itself and then a, um, a tempered glass cover, okay? The glass cover is nice because it keeps all the moisture in and that kind of stuff. So if you're doing like a roast or something, it's going to be really good at keeping all the moisture in the protein. Um, so the thing that, is, what's awesome about the Rock Crock, um, the whole line offers very a, a lot of versatility, okay? And so this item, it can do everything, okay? Um, it can sear your meat, it can boil potatoes, it can go on the barbecue and for grilling, it can go in under the broiler for casseroles or anything like that. It can um, go on the stovetop, in the microwave, in the freezer, everywhere. It can go pretty much everywhere. Plus it's dishwasher safe, um, so it's easy cleanup. Um, we use ours all the time, almost every day. It's usually dirty. I just had to wash it um, for the video, but um, we use ours a lot. It makes a really nice um, kind of base for, for any dish that you want to make. Um, and so um, that's something that I, I, I like to point out. The flat stones that you see on this page um, are really good for grilling on the barbecue. So you could just kind of, if you're doing skewers, you carry all the skewers out to the barbecue, cook them, you can turn them. You don't have to worry about juices dripping down or anything like that. Also really good, you can put it in the freezer and use it as a cold stone for ice cream. Um, so another really cool use for the flat ones. Um, but yeah, that's our Rock Crock collection. Okay, we're on page 14 and 15 now, and we're looking at our stoneware collection. So this page offers our um, kind of bare necessities, So, and then the next page offers all the glazed stoneware. The two types work the exact same way, um, just the, the bare necessities are kind of the workhorse of the kitchen, if, if I do say so, and the other ones have that elegant feel, uh, oven to table, don't have to put it in a kind of a serving dish look. Um, so these are a couple of 
of visuals for you. So this pan here, this is the small rectangular baker. Um, it's one of the glazed pieces. And it's fairly new. So this is what it'll look like when you first get it, okay? Then we go over to this one, okay? And you're thinking, oh my goodness, it looks dirty. It's not dirty, it's just built up. It's, no, it's non-stick glaze, okay? So as you cook with the stoneware, the darker it gets, the better it cooks, okay? Um, and so my, my mom, she, hers is pretty much black. She uses it so much um, and it's, it's very non-stick. So when you start, you're going to brush your pan with a little oil and then as you use it, you'll start to notice, oh, I don't even need to put oil on that. It's not going to stick. Um, and so as you use it, it'll build up that, that non-stick coating and um, they last forever. Um, they're, they're a wonderful, wonderful product. Now, they're not crash proof or anything. If you throw it on the tile floor, they will break. Um, and, and make sure that you're covering most of your pan because you don't want to get anything like sh thermal shock happening, um, which is when, say, you have a little chicken breast on a big bar pan. Um, it could be susceptible to thermal shock. So you put it in the oven and you hear a big crock and it will break if, if you're not covering your pan. So make sure you're using the right size pan for the amount of food you're cooking. Um, that's an important feature of it. Okay, we are moving on to our page uh, 18 and 19. And on this page, we are going to be looking at our fully forged cutlery. This is top of the line cutlery. Um, and what makes it top of the line is that is that the knives are made out of a um, single piece of fully forged high carbon German steel. And so what does that mean? It means that the knife stays very, very sharp for a really long time, okay? So this is our, our current knife that we use all the time. Also ha just had to wash it so I could do the demo video. Um, but these knives are great. They're really good for food prep. This is the, um, the product G, okay? So that is the San Toku knife. And it's really great for prepping veggies and that kind of stuff. Um, when we first opened it, my husband decided, let's see how sharp this is. And he just cut through a piece of the packing paper. Um, so it, it slices through pretty much everything. Um, really easy if you, if, you're, if you like squash. It cuts through squash just like butter. Um, we, we really enjoy this knife. And it makes a wonderful wedding gift. Every kitchen needs a really good knife. And this is a great place to start for sure. Okay guys, um, I'm on page 21 now and we're looking at the um, chef's tongs, okay? So this version here that I have are the large chef's tongs and they're great. They're, they're heat resistant, um, uh, so for when you're cooking and stuff, they're not going to melt and that kind of thing. And the really great thing about these, if you have a lot of things in your hands, if you're trying to hold the cover here and trying to get your, your tongs open here, it, um, it makes that really easy because as you click down, they will open, okay? And as you turn them up, they will stay closed. So it's really great if you've got a lot going on in the kitchen and you're trying to get the tongs closed or opened or whatnot and it's not working for you, these ones are great because they're foolproof. Also dishwasher safe. So we're still on page 21. We are looking at the garlic press. So if you don't currently own a garlic press in your kitchen, you need to, step one. <laughs> um, it makes it so you don't have to chop garlic really finely um, and just makes it an easy transition. The great thing about the Pampered Chef one is that you don't even need to peel your garlic. You can literally put the unpeeled garlic clove into the, the section here and then you compress it, push it through, you'll see it come out the other end, okay? All finely chopped. Um, it also comes with this little <laughs> cleaning brush and so your garlic comes out and you can just kind of use one end to scrape the, the little bits off and then usually the garlic clove will stick on this end but if it doesn't you use the little bristles and you, um, you pop it out through and that makes cleaning really easy. Okay guys, we are now on page 22 and 23. I've got a few things on this page that I want to talk about. Um, first we have our mini serving spatula. This is a super simple, you know, add it to a gift kind of thing. They're only $9. Um, they're great for 
getting it out. We use it today to get meatloaf out of a pan. You can use it for squares, for, for just about everything. And it's the perfect size for getting those small things out. Um, and so, great additional gift. My mother-in-law just bought two of them so she'd have a backup one um, because they, she really likes using it. Um, and so I use mine all the time. Um, and it's a great little additional side gift to, to any uh, maybe wedding or shower gift you might be you having this summer. Also on this page, we have our smooth edge can opener, okay? And so you wouldn't think I'd rave about a can opener, but I am going to. <laughs> um, this can opener is great. Um, so what happens with this one? It's going to cut, basically it's going to de-glue the can as opposed to cutting down into the can. It's going to cut around the edge. And that makes it great for, it's going to be smooth. So if you've got little kids around or anything like that, they're not going to be cutting their fingers on on lids or cans or anything like that. Um, and you simply just turn it clockwise to get it to attach on, go all the way around the can, and then to detach it, you go counterclockwise until you feel it release, okay? And then you use the little pincers and you pinch it off so that it can take the glue off. And uh, and then it's, it's super simple. The thing I like about this too is that it doesn't go down into the food. So you don't have to worry about if you're opening your can of tuna and then you're opening a can of sweetened condensed milk the next day, you don't have to worry about food contamination um, because it doesn't go in, cut into the food, it cuts around the top. Um, so really quite like this product too. Um, also on this page we have the mix and masher. And I think Hillary, um, she brought today the one of the other options the mix and chop she has there today so that's the one you saw this is the mix and masher really awesome for mashing potatoes um, it looks kind of weird like how would that mash potatoes but the bottom edge is is almost pointed the plastic is pointed and so it makes it just almost slice through um, whatever vegetable you're mashing and it will almost bring a potato to a whip. It's pretty, it's pretty powerful and, and just easy to use. Um, so I quite like that item as well on this page. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is, I don't have one here with me, but we have our micro cookers, okay? And so these are great for cooking uh, vegetables or like uh, parboiling them or steaming them or, or anything like that, right in the microwave. Um, they're safe to use, BPA free, um, but they make it so easy to get your veggies cleaned, which is great for baby food. Um, if, if, you're, if you have a baby or a niece or nephew um, that you want to make some fresh baby food for, this is, the micro cooker makes the veggies steam. And then on our next page, we talk about, we look at the manual food processor, which is this item here. And so you can steam your vegetables, pop them in the manual food processor, and this is a noise-free <laughs> manual food processor. So you don't have to worry about plugging a big food processor in and making a noise. You can do it while your baby naps, and uh, that makes it really, really efficient. And so this is great. It, um, it comes apart in pieces. It's all dishwasher safe, except for the cover because of the different parts in it. Um, but you put your, your steamed veggies in, and you can make smoothies in this, or we do um, salsas and guacamole as well. So really versatile. And you put your cover on, and it just spins so quickly, and will chop food and puree food. Um, so the two items together, the micro cooker and the manual food processor, are awesome for even a baby shower, a new mom. Um, great for if they're planning to do pureed foods. I also wanted to t talk to you about the simple slicer. So that's this item right here, okay? And so this is the guard, and then that's the blade, okay? We use this quite often, especially we like a lot of stir fries and that kind of thing. So it's great because it will go to five millimeters, um, is setting three. Um, Two is, I think, three millimeters, and then setting one is, like, one millimeter, which is good for, like, if you like homemade chips. <laughs> I like homemade chips. <laughs> so we use that one sometimes. The guard is great. It fits a lot. Um, we buy our, like, our um, bell peppers at Costco, so they're quite large. They'll fit in here, uh, no problem. And so you put your food in, you put this on the rail, okay? One thing I like about it, it has a rail system. 
so you don't have your food sliding all over the place. Um, and then you pop your food in and you pop your guard on and then you're going to slice back and forth and your food will come out the bottom. So we use this quite often for stir fry prep and that sort of thing. Um, really quick at slicing through vegetables, good for like a potato scallop if you like that. Or even at, at Christmas, we were using it to chop the carrots really quickly. Um, it was better than having to chop, 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 chop with when you're doing a bigger meal like that. Um, so we quite like the simple slicer in, in our home. Also on this page, we've got the um, microplane graters. Um, so um, this item here is great. It, uh, the microplane itself is very, very sharp. And this one here, you, you, it's dishwasher safe, so you, you put it in the dishwasher or clean like this and store it like this, and then it pops open to sit like an A-frame, or you can grate over top of your food this way. It comes with a guard as well, so this helps it, if you're doing cheese, you can get right down to the last little bit of the cheese without worrying about your fingers.